Hey, Aries, this is Dana, and this is the continuation of your November monthly. Who is this person you're dealing with? Who is this person that you're dealing with? And how will they respond to you? Let's see, who is this person? Who is this person that Aries is dealing with? Spirit, who is this person that Aries is dealing with? What happened and how are they going to receive? <clears throat> who is this person that Aries is dealing with? What happened and how are they going to receive? How are they going to receive Aries's sis's communication? Who is this person? that Aries is dealing with. Let's see. We're going to go one, two, three. The devil in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Limiting beliefs. Let's see. Prince of Swords in reverse. Um, scattered energy, disregard for consequences, the Hierophant in reverse, personal beliefs, the shaking loose of commitment, Five of Wands, Conflict, Tension, Strife, Competition. The Three of Pentacles, Teamwork and Collaboration. The Two of Swords, um, no, Crossroads, Indecision, Confusion. The Ten of Cups, The World, Ten of Cups, Harmony, Happiness, right? The World card, um, Cycle Changes, Eight of Wands in Reverse in the center of the reading, Holding Off, Frustration. Princess of Pentacles, Manifestation, the Four of Wands, Stability, Structure, Harmony, the Hermit in Reverse, Isolation, Loneliness, Withdrawal, the Ten of Wands, Burden and Struggle, the Nine of Pentacles, Culmination, Self-Sufficiency, the Three of Wands, Preparing and Foresight, to the Seven of Wands, Betrayal, Deception. Let's pull a couple extra. We have the Sun, the Star, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups and the Fool and the Lovers. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's work this out. Let's work this out, Aries. Woohoo. Let's work it out. All right. So the Prince of Swords, right? The Prince of Swords. I wish I could turn this back a little bit so you could maybe see more. No? Okay. So the Prince of Swords in reverse. Scattered energy to the Hierophant in reverse. Freedom, personal beliefs. Spirit, tell me, what is what is the bridge here? What are these two cards about? The Prince of Swords in reverse to the Hierophant in reverse. What is this about? And the Five of Wands, conflict. What is this about right here? What is this about? The Alchemist in reverse. Manipulation. Manipulation. Let's see. Manipulation. Untapped talents. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about the Hierophant in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Tell me more, spirit, please. Please tell me more, spirit. What's going on here? To the Hierophant upright. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Let me finish clarifying this top row, okay? And I will, I will explain all of this. Five of Wands in reverse to the Seven of Wands over the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration to the Wheel and the Six of Cups in reverse and the Two of Swords, indecision, whoa, indecision to the King of Swords, kind of sideways, it, it, it flew out upright, spun in the air, and landed in reverse. So I'm going to read it kind of both ways, okay? To the Ten of Cups, we understand that. The world, understand that. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse in the center of this person's reading? Because of the Three of Cups. Ah, because of the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, understood. The Princess of Pentacles, manifesting. The Four of Wands, okay. All right, 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 all right. Ten of Cups, World, Four of Wands. The Hermit, Isolation, Loneliness, and Withdrawal, right? Yup, yup. To the Nine of Wands, understood. Ten of Wands, it's been a burden and a struggle, right? The Nine of Pentacles, they've reached a state of self sufficiency. They've reached a state of self sufficiency. Um, 
and the Six of Pentacles in reverse talks about one-sided, right? One-sided, greed, materialism. Ooh, I just got a book that flipped over. Hold up. Let's see if we can... Okay, well, I'll keep these. There's a whole book of them. I'll explain them in a second. Just, just hold on. Just hold on. To the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Actually, tell me about this tower moment first. What is this tower moment right here? What is this tower moment? What is this tower moment right here? What is this tower moment? What is this tower moment? What is this? What is this tower moment? What is this tower moment? What is this? What is this? What is this tower moment, spirit? There we go. The two of wands to the future. What else about this tower? What else about this tower, spirit? What else about this tower? What else? What else about this tower? What else? Oh, good grief. I just dropped them all on the floor. Good grief. Hold on. Hold on. Ugh. I can do it. Don't worry about me. I got it. I got it. All right. Let me recollect myself here, you guys. Hold on. Okay. Planning for the future. Okay. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. Okay. Okay, so here's what's going on, Aries. Here's what's going on. This is the spread about um, the reading that we just left off with, okay? Um, the Aries reading for November. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, okay? So the reading for November. So this is how this person feels about you, okay? This is how this person feels about you. So when you communicate to this person, as the reading said that you were going to on YouTube, okay? Um, the Prince of Swords in Reverse talks about scattered energies, right? Scattered, just, just scattered energies. And I also want to say that this Prince of Swords in Reverse talks to us about um, this person's initial knee-jerk reaction is a disregard for consequences, okay? Because I think that this person loves you. I really do. I think this person loves you. And when your communication comes through, their initial knee-jerk reaction is a disregard for consequences. They're like, hell yeah, right? But ultimately, it ends up being disorganized mental processes, okay? Because of the alchemist in reverse, they feel like you're manipulating them. This is also about untapped talents. So not only do they feel like you're manipulating them, but they feel like you didn't appreciate them in the first place because there was a third party situation, right? So they feel like you didn't appreciate them in the first place and they feel like you are manipulating them now. They're giving you the old fish eye, right? They're like, mm, I don't know about you, Aries. That's what they're doing right here, right? To the Hierophant, this is their heart's desire. They want commitment with you. They love you, Aries. And they want commitment with you, but they think that you're manipulating them because they're like, you know what? You didn't appreciate me when you had me. So now you've gone off and done this whole third party situation. Now, remember, this is general. Okay. It can be flipped. If this was your real reading, we would know exactly what's going on here, but we don't because I, I don't even know who I'm talking to, let alone who I'm channeling. Okay. So they're, they want commitment with you. They love you. The Hierophant in reverse comes next to, maybe, the Hierophant in reverse comes right after the Hierophant in the upright, okay? Hierophant in reverse to the Hierophant in the upright. Hierophant in reverse is about personal beliefs. 
It's about personal beliefs. And like I said, they feel like you're manipulating them, right? And so they're, 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 they're kind of shaking loose the whole idea of commitment because their personal beliefs, again, pride, their personal beliefs are preventing them from fully and completely embracing what it is that you're putting on the table. The five of wands comes in and talks about conflict, tension, loss, defeat, competition. To the five of wands in reverse, conflict avoidance to the seven of wands being challenged, right? So what this person is saying right here is that if there's competition involved, I would just rather not. If there's any kind of competition involved, if I have to compete for your attention in any way whatsoever, I'm not interested. Just not interested. That's what they're saying right here with these cards. Just not interested. To the three of pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration. A turning point. It's unrealistic. I'm still stuck in the past. I'm still stuck in the past. I'm still stuck in the past. What you did to me. I'm still stuck in the past. You want teamwork and collaboration? You want a turning point in this relationship? Reuniting and reconciling is kind of unrealistic because I'm still stuck in the past. Two of swords, right? Confusion, indecision. To the king of swords in reverse. This is number one, I'm angry. Number two, this is about a misuse of power. You misused your power in our relationship. What kind of power did you have over me? My feelings. My feelings, Aries. My feelings is the power that you had over me. And you misused your power. You hurt me. Indescribably so. You hurt me. And now I have a lot of indecision about whether or not I even want to talk to you, let alone engage with you. Told you, this person loves you with the Ten of Cups. They do. They want a harmonious, happy, aligned, committed, beautiful relationship with you. To the world card, they want a new cycle with you. They want a new opportunity with you. They do. They do. They truly do. The eight of wands in reverse says, I'm holding off. I'm holding off. I'm holding off. Because of your tendency to want to seek attention from other people. Princess of Pentacles, they want to manifest the Four of Wands, structure, foundation, stability, harmony, happiness, maybe even marriage, commitment, one way or the other. The Hierophant, remember? Commitment, they want commitment with you, Aries. They do. I feel it all over. They want commitment with you. But they can't seem to get over the third party situation that happened. Isolation, disconnection, loneliness, withdrawal. That's the state that this person has been in ever since. Ever since. They have been in a state of isolation, loneliness, and withdrawal. To the Nine of Wands, courageous, persistent. Their heart was really, really broken. Really broken. Really broken. 
and they just kind of went inside. I would venture to say, Aries, that this person hasn't even had a relationship since you. That's how bad you hurt them. That they haven't even had a relationship since you. They're just doing their thing. They're healing. They're growing. And they're trying to figure out. Um, they're trying not to be stupid again and get into a relationship with somebody that isn't going to respect them. I'm a channeler, Aries. I'm just telling you how they feel. It has been a burden and a struggle for a long time. It's been a burden and a struggle. Hard. It's been hard. They love you, Aries. They love you. You crushed them. Nine of Pentacles, right? Now they're independent and self-sufficient. They're doing just fine. They're doing fine without you. They're working on themselves. Maybe working, like literally working hard. They're, 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 they're fixing themselves. They're preparing themselves for who they need to be in their next relationship. To the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is um, one-sided, right? This is one-sided. They... It was a one-sided relationship, Aries. I loved you way more than you loved me. And you know how I know that to be true? Because you cheated on me, and I didn't cheat on you. That's how I know that I loved you way more than you loved me. Three of Wands comes in. Talks about having some foresight, preparation, planning, waiting. Waiting, Aries. I think they've been waiting for you. I do. I think they've been waiting for you. And we got this whole little book that came out, okay? They've been waiting for you. Aries, the king of fire. Created a lot of emotional insecurity in this person. This person wants nothing more than a brand new beginning with you, Aries. But they, they're not clear. There's things that are still not clear to them. Which is why there's a disconnection. A creative disconnection. See, the Empress upright, she's the creator. She creates. In reverse, she does not. This is also a card about being dependent on another person. And that goes right back to how painful it was and how long it took them to get over you. And they're still not over you. They're still not over you. They're in a state of isolation, loneliness, and withdrawal. Struggling with their subconscious mind. All kinds of fear and anxiety. about a new cycle with you, about closing out the past and starting anew. They have a tower moment. They do. They have a tower moment. Not upheaval and chaos, right? But it's an epiphany, a revelation, an awakening is what they have. An awakening, a revelation. to the Two of Wands, about how they want their future to look. They struggle. They struggle with the Seven of Swords, the betrayal, the deception, the lying, the cheating, the hiding, the keeping things on the down low, the dishonesty, and they don't trust you. They don't trust you, Aries. They don't. They don't trust you. Judgment in reverse. This is ignoring the call, right? Ignoring the call because the, the I don't trust you is so strong that they don't feel like they can answer what you're asking. 
Ten of Pentacles. They really, really love you. They really want to build a solid foundation with you. They really want family, establishment, future. They really want that. They see you as a foundation by which you guys can build together. Princess of Swords. Thinking, formulating a thought pattern. <clears throat> to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Formulating a thought pattern. Processing from a mental perspective the jealousy, the insecurity. This is also, I believe, you, right? The Queen of Wands in reverse. This is aggressive and demanding. Probably more so them processing the jealous feelings, though. The insecurity. To the Princess of Wands. This is taking action. This is exploration, discovery. This is being excited to explore what could happen between the two of you. Sorry about that. I had people come over. I had to pause it for a second. So exploration, discovery, free spirit, right? This is, this is the decision that they're making. They want to explore this opportunity with you. They do because they see you as happiness, success, vitality. They love you. They want hope and faith and purpose and renewal in this relationship. They see this relationship as wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. They want a new beginning in love with you, Aries. They want a new beginning and a new journey in a love relationship. They do. And that's the decision that they're going to make. They're going to need some time to process all of this. And you have to respect that, Aries. You have to respect the fact that they need time to process all of this. So if it takes them a good long minute, just chill. Be patient. And know that this is the ultimate outcome, right? I mean you know, as much as a general tarot card reading can be, but understand that they're going to have to process. Okay. They're going to have to come to terms with some things because you hurt them. You hurt them hard and they're going to have to come to terms with some things. Um, but in the end, in the end, they come back because they love you. Namaste.